we want to find the derivative of f of x equals two inverse hyperbolic cosine of five x. In addition to identifying the correct derivative formula, it's also important to recognize that f of x is a composite function and therefore to find the derivative, we'll have to apply the chain rule. Notice how for our function, the inner function would be five x. So if we take a look at our derivative formulas, here's the one that involves the inverse hyperbolic cosine function. Notice how the derivative formula already includes the chain rule where u is equal to the inner function and therefore the derivative with respect to x is equal to a product where the first factor is equal to the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function and the second factor u prime is equal to the derivative of the inner function. Some textbooks like to write this as a single fraction where u prime is in the numerator, but I like it in this form because it emphasizes that we're applying the chain rule. So again, looking back at our function, we're gonna let the inner function of five x be equal to u. So we can think of our function as two inverse hyperbolic cosine of u. So again, if u is equal to five x, we know we're gonna need u prime to apply the chain rule. U prime is the derivative of five x with respect to x, which would just be five. Which means our derivative function, f prime of x, is gonna be equal to two times the derivative of inverse hyperbolic cosine u, which is equal to one divided by the square root of u squared, where u is five x, minus one times u prime, which we already found is five. So again, notice how we've applied the chain rule here, where this is the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function, and the five, and this five is the derivative of the inner function. So let's go ahead and clean this up. F prime of x is equal to two times five would be 10, divided by the square root of five x to the second would be 25 x squared, and then minus one. So this would be our derivative function. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.